Hello friends, welcome to another video. Uh, today's video is again based on a question posted on Power BI community forum. Uh, very uh, common scenario um, and I really wanted to do video on this particular topic which you will see uh, in a bit uh, but was not getting a chance but here uh, I'm gonna um, uh, uh, I'm going to do this video now since uh, there was actually a question posted on community forum. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, let me actually take you to Power BI um, and, and show the problem and also the, the, the solution. Uh, there are other ways to solve what we're going to see in this video. And I will leave that question to you guys to come out with the solution. How you guys think uh, or what you guys think, how else this can be solved. And uh, before we move forward and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notified when the new videos comes out. Okay, so let's get to Power BI. A very simple uh, question was posted. Uh, there is a, a customer table and a tariff table. And if you look at that, uh, customer has tariff ID and the DIM tariff has a tariff ID and they're both related on the tariff ID. Couple of things you have to note, uh, keep a note here um, that DIM tariff is on the one side, not on the many side, right? So one tariff can be applied to many customers. And it made it a little bit uh, interesting is that this relationship is inactive. Again, I can make this relationship active because I don't have any of the tables in the model. But when the user, when user posted this question, uh, the, the, the one of the uh, thing was that he cannot make this relationship active. There could be many reasons because how his model is, but I'm not going into those details and I have no uh, idea about why he could not make this relationship active. But the point is this relationship in his model was inactive and I tried to mimic the same in this to, to, um, to solve the problem. Now, the, what is actual problem? So the, let's first look at the DIM customer. So like we have a customer, four customer with this is like tariff ID repeated one, one for two customers and two and three, five. And if we go to the DIM tariff, um, uh, there is a tariff ID again, this is a unique ID, one too many, that's why uh, it is, it's because tariff ID is unique. And then there is an amount, tariff amount, whatever you wanna call it. And the question is what user is looking for get the total amount of tariff for each customer and then the sum of that. So if tariff ID one is a tariff amount $100, take $100 and 100 plus 100, 200 and whatever the tariff amount is, just sum that up for each customer. Uh, before we go forward with the solution, uh, I'm gonna try to make a couple of things here. So what I did is I just created a, a tariff amount um, what you call Meyer. Now that Meyer is basically, uh, if you look here, it is a sum of DIM tariff amount. And the amount is getting repeated. That's perfectly fine. The reason why this is happening, uh, the two things is because the first thing is the relationship is one to many. So basically DIM customer does not filter the DIM tariff. Like if you look at the relationship, because that's very important part. Like if we look at the relationship, um, the DIM tariff table is filtering DIM customer. And second thing is, this is an inactive relationship. So before we go forward, let's first make this relationship active. Just for the sake of uh, demo here, I'm going to make this relationship active and apply changes. Th does that mean this will solve the problem? And let's go back uh, to our visualization. No, it is still 150. And the reason we, it's not about active and inactive, it's because DIM customer does not filter the DIM tariff um, table, right? So that's that's why it is happening. There are many ways to solve, like how we can solve this. But again, I'm gonna go back to the original question where this is not active, this relationship is not active. The, the first way to, like if this wasn't active, the one way to solve this is, uh, you can change the cross filter direction to both, right? That is pretty straightforward. But again, that is not a best practices. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about the cross filter direction to both. There are many, many topics, 
what does that mean is if I double click on this one and um, I can make this relationship both so it, uh, and if I say okay what does that mean is now dim customer can if you look at these two arrows dim customer can also filter dim tariff and will this fix the problem and yes it did and uh, 100 100 20 50 but look at the total total is still wrong it's not some of all these things and the reason behind that is because there's no customer at the total level you know if you wonder why 150 is coming because there's no um, customer at the total level so it is just giving us the sum of dim tariff table which would be 150 if we sum this up and that's why even at the customer level it is correct but not at the total level again the reason behind that why it is uh, it is uh, correct at the customer level because now what we said is dim customer filtering dim tariff and then um, it, uh, for each customer it look at the tariff id filter the dim fill dim tariff table get the amount and everything is fine but when it get to total there are all the customers and that's why it's no working uh, now the other way to do this is again this uh, cross filter direction both should be very rare case uh, when you want to do this in a complex model this can be very very challenging so i'm going to put it back to single because this is not is a right practice um, so what else we can do and let me show you one another way how we can solve this when the relationship is active so one another way is if the cross uh, if the uh, relationship is active we can also actually uh, make cross filter if we don't want the cross filter direction to be changed to both we can actually uh, using the function called cross um, cross filter direction we can use this cross filter function and we can say dim customer tariff id with uh, dim tariff tariff id to both right so what we're doing is in this particular measure we are saying okay change that relationship to both so we we're still keeping the relationship uh, in the model as in a single but in this particular um uh, particular measure we're changing it to both uh, this this could be one of the way if we look at this that this tariff amount will change for each customer but again the problem is the same that at the total level it is still 150 this is the what we are expecting at the total level is 50 plus 20 70 80 90 right not 150 so it means whether i manually uh, uh, you know in the model change the relationship to cross filter direction to both or force it through the measure using cross filter function it would still not work so what else we can do we can actually uh, if our relationship is active we can do one more thing we can iterate over our dim customer table and then we can use um, technique here related and the related function is very very powerful uh, I have I think a video uh, on related and uh, I will share the link of that video in the description of this video for you to take a look so what I'm going to say is okay related dim tariff amount when related works when you are looking from the many side to the one side table so many side is dim customer and tariff is the one side so in dim customer on the many side using related I can get any column from my one side table so that that means if I'm iterating over my dim customer each row of dim customer I'm saying go get the related tariff amount uh, for that particular customer and then sum it up will this fix let's take a look okay so when we made the change to the measure our at the customer level everything is fine and when the total the total is 90 so everything looks great so this is this is one way to solve if our relationship was is uh, active right but as i said at the start of the video unfortunately in the problem statement what user mentioned this relationship is not active so if if we turn this relationship to inactive or mark it as an inactive uh, make this relationship inactive 
I can actually do it from the property section of the relationship as well. I'm still not used to that. I'm double clicking the line and going in there, but you can actually turn this on and off from here. Um, now, if we go back here, what will happen? Our measure will break. And why this measure is now broken or there is an uh, issue with this? Uh, let's take a look at that. And what is saying is something wrong with one or more field. Tariff amount, dim tariff, either does not, it doesn't have a relationship. So what does that mean is if we go to the measure, now we cannot use the related function. The reason behind that is because to use the relationship, uh, a related function, we have to have that um, uh, relationship active. Now, since that relationship is not active, so we are getting this error. So what is the solution for that? And that is exactly what was the problem that we want to sum the tariff amount when the relationship is inactive. How we can work with this, what we can do to solve it. To solve this, what we need to do is we need to use the use relationship function. Now the question is uh, um, with the related, can I use a uh, use relationship function? And um, if you don't know what use relationship is, it allows you to uh, make inactive relationship too active in that measure, right? In the measure, I can say use a, a inactive relationship, which I will show you in a second. And there is a video uh, on my YouTube channel as well, which talks in detail about the use relationship function. So what does it mean is like we want to make the use relationship uh, in this particular case because our relationship is inactive and make it active. But where does related work with that? Where we put the user relationship? Let's try this. One thing we can try here is uh, we can go uh, calculate. And then we can go, okay, use relationship. Again, let's make sure we are formatting it correctly. And use relationship. So what does it mean is our tariff ID, and you can only use those columns which have a relationship, inactive relationship, otherwise you cannot use it. And I go dim tariff tariff ID, and then will this work? Unfortunately not. Um, how we fix this? It's pretty, pretty straightforward. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep, um, you remove calculate again from here, and go back to how it originally was. So assuming that there was an active relationship and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our sum x in calculate. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna force uh, use relationship here uh, with the calculation. So with calculate, what we're gonna do is use relationship again, tariff ID and tariff ID. Perfect. Will this fix? Let's see. Here you go. So what we have is we have a, a correct tariff amount by each customer and the total is also correct and our relationship is also inactive. So what we did is we went through, so we used um, a related function and uh, to get the amount from the related table. Again, related is always coming that column from the one side to the many side. Dim customer is many side. And then we use related function to get the amount from the tariff table, which is on the one side. Since the relationship is inactive, we can use the related and we wrapped our sum x into calculate and force it to use this relationship and everything working fine. Even here, it gives us a red line saying it is an error because at this point it, it is looking at that is that your relationship is inactive and you cannot use the related function, but we force it to make that relationship inactive to active. Um, I hope uh, you learned a few things and uh, you can use this technique in your model. Again, cross filter direction to both is in a bad idea and don't do it. You can actually use cross filter direction in the measure if you really want to force the cross filter direction to both. Um, you can, uh, you know, make how you can use related with the inactive relationship. You saw that in this video. And there are other ways to solve this as well. 
but I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. What do you guys think? What are the other methods? How this can be solved? There are many ways to solve this. Um, you know, uh, I will leave that up to you guys. There is at least two or three other ways that if you have a scenario like this, you can solve this. I will wait for your feedback and your solution on that. And do share your solution in the comment of this video. And also make sure to subscribe my video hit the bell icon button so that you get notified when the new videos come out. Until next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. Cheers.